uh, again, apologies for earlier. I wasn't able to connect. I uh, was having a difficult time. In any case, uh, we'll try to cover as much as we can this afternoon. Uh, and let's, as much as possible, let's shorten the presentation. Uh, kung kaya. So, sige, with that, let's dispense with the with the roll call. Let's just have the uh, call to order and the determination forum. Secretary, do you have a quorum for this afternoon's meeting? Yes, Mr. Chair. We have uh, a quorum, Mr. Chair. Uh, four of the seven members, Mr. Chair, are present for today's meeting. So, we have a quorum. Sir? Attorney Rob? Attorney Rob? Sir, I think you're in, you're in mute, sir. Attorney Rob? Um, please stand by everyone. I think uh, our presiding officer was disconnected in the meeting room, so... I think he will be joining anytime now. Please stand by. Ay, sorry, again, nawala. Sorry, Frank, uh, may call Meron? Uh, you're, I think you're on mute. Um, Mr. Chair, uh, four of the seven members of the Beeson Awards Committee are present for today's meeting. So, Mr. Chair, we have a quorum, sir. Sige. Uh, with that, um, let's proceed with the primary items of the agenda. So we have uh, two items for pre-bid conference. And the first one is for the Tandag Airport Development Project. Do we have uh, prospective bidders for this? Uh, yes, sir. We have prospective bidders for this uh, project, sir. Uh, so let's already admit them. And also, uh, moving on, moving forward, uh, in case maputol-putol ako, just please continue uh, with the presentation and, and the questions uh, as necessary. needed. So let's have them admitted already. And let's have the presentation on that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, for the technical working group, Mr. Chair, uh, Engineer Sheldon Sevalius will present on behalf of the technical working group. Uh, Engineer Sevalius, please. Uh, I believe the prospective leaders are already admitted. Uh, good afternoon to all our prospective leaders and welcome to the pre bid conference for the procurement of the Tandag Airport Development Project for CY 2022. Um, we will now be presenting the uh, build documents for uh, this project. Go ahead, engineer. Please share your uh, screen now, engineer Savalias. Go ahead, engineer.
Good afternoon again, uh, Mr. Chair and the members of the Visa and Awards Committee. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, may I proceed with the presentation? Okay, so presenting to you the procurement of the Tandag Airport Development Project, uh, CY 2022. Uh, runway street with correction, including provision of earth canal, widening of runway, uh, expansion of apron, construction of two uh, 45 degrees taxiway, CFR access road to runway, airside drainage system, expansion of passenger terminal building, construction of control tower, Two bay fire station building, powerhouse, transformer pad, 10,000 gallon steel water tank, expansion of vehicular parking area, BPA lighting, provision of landside drainage system, miscellaneous works at BPA, construction of frangible fence, nine strands barbed wire with concrete post and security fence. This is a DOTR downloaded project, CY 2022. The approved budget for the contract is 250, uh, 59,744,009 pesos and 64 centavos. Okay, for the technical personnel requirement, uh, as shown, including the minimum major equipment requirement for this project. Okay, we have the C, uh, project civil engineer, technical engineer, etc. Then the bulldozer, payloader with uh, their uh, equivalent capacities. Okay. For the required pickup license for this project is a medium A uh, or license uh, la uh, category B for road, highway, pavement, railways, airport, horizontal structures, and bridges. And uh, medium A for uh, license B category B for building and industrial plant. The duration for the, pro for the project is 420 calendar days inclusive of 25 rainy or unworkable, uh, unworkable days. Okay, for the uh, instruction, instruction to leaders uh, requirement, uh, ITB clause 3.0, certificate of site inspection or the Annex B Form 1 uh, shall be uh, duly signed by Mr. Irvin N. Scatron, the officer in charge of Tandag Airport, or his duly authorized representative is required to be submitted. This shall include all the following documents as attached to the Certificate of Site Inspection and shall form part of the bidder's technical documents. First is the copy of the company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection. Second is the copy of the airport or the facility visitor's logbook with the entry of the name and signature of the person who conducted the site inspection. And lastly, the picture of the proposed site including the personnel who conducted the site inspection together with the airport manager or officer in charge or his duly authorized representative. Note that bids not complying with the above instructions shall be disqualified. For ITB Clause 5.2, the bidder must have an experience of having completed a single largest completed contract or SACC that is similar to this project equivalent to at least 50% of the ABC. For this purpose, contracts similar to the project uh, referred to contracts which have the same major categories of work, which shall be for uh, category building construction, improvement, rehabilitation, repair, the ABC is 151,688,559 pesos and 66 centavos. For the category concreting of roads or other horizontal works, the ABC is 103,447,977 pesos and 55 centavos. 
for ITB Clause 7.1, subcontracting is not allowed for this project. For ITB uh, Clause 10.1, bidder shall submit all eligibility and technical documents as specified in Section 10 or the checklist of technical and financial documents. We will be discussed later on. Uh, for ITB Clause 10.4, the key personnel must meet the required minimum years of experience set below. For the key personnel, as listed, and the general experience required is five years in general engineering, and for the relevant experience is three years in building construction, improvement, rehabilitation, repair, and concreting of roads or other horizontal works. Bids not complying with the above instructions shall be disqualified. So again, the uh, for ITB clause ten point five, again the major, I mean major equipment requirements for the project. Bids not complying with the above instructions shall be disqualified. Okay, for ITB clause sixteen requirement, each and every page thereof shall be init initialed or signed by the duly authorized representatives of the bidder. Submitted eligibility, technical and financial documents shall be properly marked with the index tabs or ear tab and must be sequentially paginated in accurate order in the form, for example, page 3 of 100. Page number of last page of the document per, in, uh, per envelope basis. Pagination should be sequential based on the entire span of the whole document uh, inside the envelope. Bids not complying with the above instructions shall be automatically disqualified. Number two, each bidder shall submit one copy of the first and second components of its bid. Bids not complying with the above instructions shall be automatically disqualified. Presenting to you the sample of the site inspection uh, form, then the company ID and airport logbook. For the checklist of technical and financial documents, For the information of the, uh, everybody, no? this uh, checklist is uh, found in the bid documents. So this is just the run through para uh, kung may makulang man, you can visit the document. Okay, so again, for the checklist, uh, technical component and below, uh, valid full depth registration certificate or uh, platinum membership. Registration Certificate from uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, Department of Trade and Industry for Sole Proprietorship or Cooperative Development Authority for Cooperatives or its equivalent document. Third is the mayor's or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the prospective bidder is located or the equivalent document for exclusive economic zones or areas. Tax clearance per EO number 398 series of 2005 as finally reviewed and approved by the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Uh, next is the statement of the prospective bidder for all of its ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started, if any, whether similar or not similar in nature and complexity to the contract to be bid. Next is the statement of the bidder's single largest con completed contract or the SLCC similar to the contract to be bid except under conditions provided under the rules. Next is the Philippine Contractors Accreditation Board or the pickup license or special pickup license in case of joint ventures and registration for the type and cost of the contract to be bid and joint resolution and required pickup license for the project 
As stated earlier, medium A, license category A, or road, highway, pavement, railways, airport, horizontal structures, or bridges, and medium A, license category B, for building and industrial plan. For technical documents, original copy of bid security if, uh, in the form of a surety bond, submit also a certification is issued by the insurance commission or original copy of notarized bid securing declaration. The project requirements which shall include the following. Organizational chart for the contract to be bid. The list of contractors key personnel uh, to be assigned to the contract to be bid with their complete qualification and experience data. And then the, uh, the list of contractors major equipment units which are owned, leased, and or under purchase agreements supported by proof of ownership or certification of availability of equipment from the equipment lesser or vendor for the duration of the project, as the case may be. Another requirement is an original duly signed omnibus sworn statement. And if applicable, original notary secretary certificate in case of the corporation, partnership, or cooperative. Or original special power of attorney of all members of the joint venture, giving full power and authority to its officer to sign the omnibus or statement and do acts to represent the bidder. And we shall include all the following documents as attachment to the omnibus sworn statement. Certification under oath, attesting that they have no pending case or cases against the government, in addition to the eligibility requirements as prescribed under the 2016 Revised Implementing Rules and Regulations of RA 9184. Number uh, second is the legal clearance to be issued by the CAAP Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-pending cases of the prospective bidders against this authority. And lastly, the bid bulletin is if applicable. Another requirement is the certificate of site inspection, duly signed uh, by Mr. Erwin N. Escatron, the officer in charge of Tantag Airport, or his duly authorized representative. And shall include all the following documents as attachment to the certificate of site inspection. The copy of company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection. Copy of the airport or facility visitors logbook and picture of the proposed site, including the personnel who conducted the site inspection, together with the airport manager or officer in charge or his duly authorized representative. For the financial documents, the prospective bidders audited financial statements showing, among others, the prospective bidders' total and current assets and liabilities stamped received by the BIR or its duly accredited and authorized institutions for the preceding calendar year, which should not be earlier than two years from the date of bid submission, and the prospective bidders' computation of net financial contract capacity or the NFCC. For Class B documents, if applicable, a duly signed joint venture agreement in accordance with RA uh, 4566 and its IRR in case the joint venture is already in existence. Or duly notarized statements for all the potential joint venture partners stating that they will enter into and abide by the provisions of the JVA in the instance that the bid is successful. So financial component and below requirement, original or uh, duly signed and accomplished financial bid form, other documentary requirements under uh, RA 9184, uh, the original or duly signed bid prices in the bill of quantities, the summary of bid proposal, the bill of materials and cost estimates, summary sheet indicating the unit prices of, uh, of construction materials, labor rates, and equipment rentals used in coming up with the bid, 
and cash flow by quarter and payment schedule with their prescribed uh, forms as indicated. So next is the scope of work. Uh, we have the SPL uh, 01, the mobilization, the mobilization, SPL 2, temporary facilities. Then for item A, we run a strip grade correction including provision of bird canal. Item B, widening of runway. For expansion of apron, for item C, item uh, D, for construction of two 45 degrees taxiways. Item E, for the construction of CFR access road to runway. Item F, for the provision of our side drainage system. Item G, for the expansion of passenger terminal building. Item H, for the construction of control tower building. Item I, for construction of two bay fire station building. Item J, for the construction of powerhouse. Item K, for the construction of transformer yard. Item L, construction of 10,000 gallons steel water tank. Item M, expansion of vehicular parking area. Item N, vehicular par parking area lighting system. Item O, provision of landside drainage system. Item P, miscellaneous works at BPA. Item Q, provision of tangible fence. And item R, provision of perimeter or security fence. So showing you the uh, site development plan for this project. This is for the run side area. For the strip grade correction, widening the runway, for the expansion of apron, for the construction of two taxiways, for the access road. For runway for the CFR, uh, the airside drainage system, uh, for the expansion of passenger terminal building, okay. for the control tower building, CFR, powerhouse, uh, 10,000 gallons uh, water tank. BPA area miscellaneous works and pens. Uh, that's all, Mr. Chair, for my presentation for this project. All right, uh, thank you for that presentation. So at this juncture, uh, we once again we welcome the those who are attending online, our prospective leaders. Good afternoon, and just at this point, we're opening the floor for any questions. However, let me just raise uh, some point. Uh, due to the number of agenda items today, we will be um, we, we can't really spend a lot of time and questions. So we want to emphasize already at the onset that you are uh, yeah you, you have the opportunity to also put these questions in writing and submit them uh, to ten days prior to the opening of the uh, opening of the bid. So right now, uh, let's have the questions, Attorney Frank. Are there any questions from our prospective leaders? Um, again, uh, if you do not have any questions right now, uh, you can send your questions uh, or queries to the back secretary at 10 days before the opening of bid. The opening of bid uh, bids will be on October 4, so you have 10 days before the October 4 meeting uh, to submit your queries. Do we have any? Uh, so I I guess the presentation is uh.
pretty clear and um, we explained uh, the um, highlights uh, of the project. At the same time, we would like to stress that uh, the bid documents, uh, the presentation is based on uh, the, the presentation is based on the bid documents. So you can find all the informations um, as presented in the bid documents as well. Um, we have a question here: if we can have a copy of uh, the bid, uh, the slide presentation. Yes, sir. Uh, you. Yung online purchase ng bid docs ay uh, hindi pa po available kasi yung sa payment system po namin hindi pa po established yung online. So you need to go here sa uh, back office po natin sa central office. Pwede niyo naman po sir na yung payment na lang kung, uh, kung hindi po kayo available anytime before the bid opening. Yung payment na lang ng bid docs during the bid opening na lang po. Before the bid opening, on the day you can pay it on the day of the bid opening provided na makapag-download na lang din po kayo ng documents online naman po. So, I think, Mr. Chair, um, we have, we have, uh, okay, meron lang po. How much po yung bid docs? Uh, sir, the bid docs, eh, 56,000 pesos po, sir. So, clarification po, one original envelope lang po for need submitted contains the technical and financial envelope. So, um, bali parang three envelopes po siya, sir, nakapaloob po sa isang main envelope yung uh, technical document envelope at saka nandun din po sa isang main envelope yung uh, original na financial document envelope. So, uh, one envelope containing the technical and containing the financial envelopes for. Uh, for the illustration of envelope system, sir, uh, I, I, I think it's quite clear na, na yung requirement po natin is isang technical at saka isang financial document envelope lang po nakapaloob po siya sa isang document. So, bali, three envelope system. One main envelope, one and en containing the technical and the financial po. No need tapping po to submit soft copy of the financial component po. Well, if you can submit, well, okay din po, pero no need na rin po. Hindi po siya required po sa ano natin. Um, for contact person for the uh, name ng site inspection po uh, sa site inspection po you may coordinate um, the officer in charge of uh, the Tandag Airport uh, the name of the person is uh, Irvin S. Um, okay Mr. Irvin S. Kat Ron, he is the officer in charge of Tandag Airport, and he and he is also available, sir. Do naman po sa Tandag Airport during office hours po, so you can go to the uh, Tandag Airport and conduct 
uh, site inspection during office hours po. Ask ko lang po if magpo-provide po ba kayo ng barracks or facility for the workers. Um, hindi po kami magpo-provide ng barracks or, or facility, barracks or facility for the workers, sir. So, I think, Mr. Chair, uh, we uh, responded to all the questions uh, online. Just a reminder na lang po to all our prospective leaders, you may still uh, submit po your written queries or clarifications po. Uh, meron lang pong question lang po dito, last Mr. Chair, from Hashtag Ventures. May I ask if the construction permits will be by the contractor or by the agency so the response to this is it is um uh for the contractor's account po so kayo po yung bahala dun sa construction permit po hindi po yung agency so uh I mean, yung lugar na pwedeng pagtayuan ng barracks for the workers sa site. Uh, sir, nandun po siya, kasama po siya dun sa... Um, sir, uh, for open builders, may I request the end user na lang po to respond to this. Kung meron daw po bang pagtatayuan ng area for barracks for workers. Uh, sir Emerson, please. Uh, so, yung location for for the barracks uh, during uh, during ano during the construction na po yung pinag-uusapan na yun uh, sa pre-construction meeting so sila na po sa site mag-identify kung saan sila po yung uh, position ng barracks nila okay thank you uh, so I hope uh, uh, for open builders uh, yung question nyo po na sagot po Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, I think wala na po tayong question, sir. Natag nasagot na po natin lahat ng mga questions sa ala, sir. We can thank close you, sir. it, sir. Yes. Uh, as we close, thank you uh, once again for those who attended. Uh, we will await for your written queries, if there are any, and we will issue the necessary bid bulletins kung merong mga changes or merong mga uh, concerns that are addressed through your queries, your written queries. So, please be in close coordination with our secretariat. Uh, uh, and um, we look forward to your submissions. Maraming salamat po uh, and good afternoon. Thank you, leaders po. You're now excused po. You may now exit the meeting room po. Thank you po. Um, Mr. Chair, uh, the room is now cleared and we can now proceed, Mr. Chair, with item number 2.2. Sige. Uh, so we have the next item in the agenda, which is also a conference for the improvement and uh, rehabilitation of the third floor administrative, administration building, CAP. Do you have any bidders present for this? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, we also have bidders. May I request the Secretariat, sir, to please admit our prospective bidders. And... Um, Engineer Sevalius, Mr. Chair, will present on behalf of the Technical Working Group. Yes, uh, please proceed. Yung, ano na lang, ITB. 
Good afternoon to all our prospective leaders. Welcome to the three big conference for the project improvement rehabilitation of third floor administration building. Engineer Alfred Sheldon Cevallos of the ADMS will present uh, the big documents for this project. Go ahead, Engineer. Okay, good afternoon again, uh, Mr. Chair and the members of the Beach and Works Committee. Presenting to you the uh, procure, uh, procurement for the improvement of uh, improvement rehabilitation of third floor admin building uh, with a bid number of 22-003-09. This is a CAP APP fund, uh, CY 2022, with an ABC of 21 million one hundred twelve thousand seven hundred ninety-three pesos. And nine cents. Okay, with the minimum uh, technical personal requirement for this project, uh, the one project civil engineer, one electrical engineer, one master electrician, one master plumber, one construction safety and health officer, and for the minimum major equipment requirement, is a uh, one unit portable building machine with 10 to 200 uh, ampere. Then a uh, required pickup license for this project is a small B, license category C and D for a building and industrial plant. The project has a duration of 165 calendar days. Okay, for the uh, ITB cost requirement, uh, for the ITB requirements, for ITB cost 10.0K, first is the certificate of site inspection or the Annex B Form 1, duly signed by uh, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel Valentino Ejunela of uh, retired uh, the Assistant Director General 2 of the Aerodrome Development and Management Service CAP Main Office or is duly authorized representative is requested uh, is required to be submitted this shall include all the following documents as attachment to the Certificate of Site Inspection and shall form part of the builder's technical documents. First is the copy of the company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection. Second is the copy of the airport or the facility visitor's logbook with the entry of the name and signature of the person who conducted the site inspection. And third is the picture of the proposed site, including the personnel who conducted the site inspection, together with the airport manager or the officer in charge or his duly authorized representative. For this project, uh, a picture together with uh, Sir uh, Colonel Janela or his duly authorized representative. Bids not complying with the above instruction shall be disqualified. Okay. So, showing you the sample of the site inspection certificate the sample company ID and the airport logbook or the uh, main office logbook for, for this project. For it to be close 5.2 requirement, the leader must have an experience of having completed a single largest completed contract that is similar to this project, equivalent to at least 50% of the ABC. For this Purpose contracts similar to the project refer to contracts which have the same major categories of work, which shall be building, construction, improvement, rehabilitation, or repair. And the ABC of this project is 21,112,793 pesos and 9 centavos. 
ITP Clause 721 requirement, subcontracting uh, sub is not allowed in this project. For ITP Clause 10.1, bidder shall submit all eligibility and technical documents as specified in Section 10 for the checklist of technical and financial documents. This will be shown later on. ITP Clause 10.3 requirement, valid pickup license or special pickup license in case of joint ventures and, uh, and registration. A small B license category C and D for vertical works building and industrial plant for the type and cost of contract to be built. So bids not complying with the above instruction shall be disqualified. For ITB Clause 10.4, the key personnel must meet the required minimum years of experience set below. For the key personnel listed below, uh, general experience requirement is five years in general engineering and three years in building construction, improvement, or rehabilitation or repair for relevant experience. Bids not complying with the above instructions shall be disqualified. For to be cross 10.5 requirement, the minimum major equipment requirements are the following. So one portable welding machine with 10 to 200 ampere. Bids not complying with above instructions shall be disqualified. For ITB cross 11.2 requirement, bid exceeding the ABC of the project shall be disqualified. ITB cross 15.1. The bid security shall be in the form of a bid securing declaration or any of the following forms and amounts. The amounts of not less than 452,255 pesos and 86 cents or 2% of ABC if bid security is in cash. Cashiers or managers check, bank draft or guarantee or a revoc revocable letter of credit or bid the amount of not less than 1,055,639 pesos and 66 cents or 5% of ABC if bid security is in surety bond. Prior to the clause 16.0 requirement, each and every page thereof shall be initialed, signed by the duly authorized representative or representatives of the bidder, submitted eligibility, Technical and financial documents shall be properly marked with index tabs or ear tab and must be sequentially paginated in accurate order in the form, for example, page 3 of 100. Page number of last page of the document per envelope basis. Pagination should be sequential based on the entire span of the whole documents inside the envelope. Bids not complying with the above instruction shall be disqualified. Showing you the, the example of the table of contents, the index tab or the year tab, the uh, signature per page, and the pagination. So bids not complying with the above instruction shall be automatically disqualified. So TB clause 6.0 requirement, each bidder shall submit one copy of the first and second components of its bid. Bids not complying with above instructions shall be automatically disqualified. ITP clause 19.2 requirement, partial bid is not allowed. The infrastructure project is packaged in a single lot and the lot shall not be divided into sub-lots for the purpose of bidding, evaluation, and contract award. For the special conditions of the project, uh, GCC clause 7.2 requirement in case of permanent structures as uh, buildings of type 4 and 5 as classified under the National Building Code of the Philippines and other structures made of steel, iron, or concrete, which apply with the relevant structural codes such as but not limited to steel, concrete, bridges, flyovers, aircraft movement areas, ports, dams, tunnels, filtration and treatment plants, sewerage systems, 
power plants, transmissions, and communication towers, revenue system, and other uh, similar permanent structures, the warranty would be 15 years. For GCC clause 13 requirement, for the uh, advance payment, the amount of the advance payment shall not exceed 15% of the total contract price. However, as per DOTR uh, policy, programming, procuring entity will not give advance payment to contractors. For GCC clause 15.2 requirement, uh, requirement, the amount to be withheld for failing to produce as built drawings and or operating and maintenance manuals with the date required is 2% for the contract. For the checklist of technical and financial documents, uh, this can be found on the bid, uh, bid documents which is included for this uh, project. So I'll be showing you. Okay, for the technical documents. Again, uh, these documents can be found on the bidding documents na, uh, that is included in the uh, posted on field gaps. For this couple work, we have the structural works, first is the demolition works, the concrete and masonry works, the steel works, and for the structural works, we have uh, the tile works, carpentry works, painting works, doors and windows, and signages. For electrical works, we have the lighting and power conduits and fittings, the wires and cables, electrical wiring devices, lighting fixtures, boxes and pull boxes, air conditioning units, conduits and fittings, air conditioning units, conduits and fittings, wires and cables, data and telephone system conduits and fittings, data and telephone system wires and cables, data and telephone system wiring device, data and telephone system boxes and pull boxes, and grounding system. Panel board or circuit breaker or wire gutter. Uh, feeder, sub feeder wires and cables, feeder and sub feeder conduits and fittings, hanger supports and termination accessories, and transformer assembly. For mechanical works, air conditioning unit, piping, hangers, and support. Ventilation, equipment, and accessories. For plumbing works, we have the sewer line and water line, and the fixtures. For all scopes of work for this item, must be in accordance with approved plans and specifications. Quality and types of materials must conform to the specifications and must be approved by the project in charge of the CAP. The contractor shall be responsible in providing personal protective equipment for staffs and workers and safety inspectors or safety engineers on site while construction is ongoing. Regular safety reports should be accomplished. The contractor shall be responsible for all permits necessary in the project implementation. All expenses shall be incorporated in the contractor's overhead costs and shall not be considered as pay item. Showing you the uh, interior perspective for the for this project. Okay, the demolition plan, the layout for the third floor, the sections, detailed sections. That's all, Mr. Chen, for my presentation.
All right, thank you for that presentation. Uh, this juncture, we open the floor for any queries from our attendees. Also, again, we welcome all those who are attending this afternoon for this vivid conference. Uh, let me just uh, remind everyone that um, due to the number of attendees today, we will be limiting the the time for the question and answer. However, you have the opportunity to submit all your queries in writing 10 days uh, before the opening, of, uh, scheduled opening. Period. So, Attorney Frank, please uh, facilitate, please. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, uh, to our prospective leaders, uh, do you have any questions or clarifications uh, with regard to the presentation or how to be documents of this project? Again, um, as emphasized by our uh, presiding officer, uh, you still have uh, the opportunity to present your questions or queries uh, 10 days before the opening of bid. Uh, you just have to write uh, our back secretariat and uh, the technical working group and end user will uh, prepare the corresponding answer to your uh, comments or queries or clarifications. Do we have any questions, Paul? So, uh, also, I would like to emphasize that um, uh, as stressed by our uh, technical working group uh, engineer from ADMS, that uh, the advance payment is um, not allowed for, for uh, all our projects here at uh, CAAP. Sir, uh, MZR Builders po. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, sir, afternoon, can you sir. your name and the company you represent, please? My name is J.R. Quiroz, representing MJR Builders. Yes, sir. What's your question po, sir? Uh, yung question po, sir. Um, since hindi nyo ina-allow yung advance payment, uh, will progress bill be allowed? Uh, yes, sir. Pro progress bill is allowed, sir. Ano po yung allowed percentages nung kung kailan po pwede mag-bill? First yeah. billing, second billing? Uh, the first billing, I think, sir, is 20%. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and then, then uh, after nyan, sir, uh, monthly, sir, pwedeng, depende po, pwede pong monthly na sa after ng 20%, sir. Ah, pwede ng monthly. Depende yes, po, sir. Uh, hindi na specific sa, sa percentage per month. Na not, sa. not specifically on the percentage anymore, sir. Basta, ang first uh, progress billing, sir, is at least 20%. All right. Understood. All right. Any other questions? Um, same po, MGI Builders pa din. Yes, sir. Um, pwede po bang magkaroon ng, ng lugar para sa temporary facilities yung mga workers? Um, sir, may I refer your question to our uh, end user uh, for this? Uh, engineer, uh, uh, architect, Emmer, please. Uh, so, regarding po din sa question, uh, din ni discuss po yan very pre construction meeting yung ah, sa pre con na siya yes yeah, so, uh, pero yung kasi pa namin a allow niyo po so uh, dito sa central office um uh, may na ano po certain number of person na lang pero kung lahat po sila hindi pa payagan lahat pero may limit po may limit ah, pero inaallow niyo may limit lang yung tao yes okay Allowed naman. Meron namang, ay, siguro yung pag-uusapan o sa pre-con, yung location kung saan sila papag-stayin, ano? Yes, uh, basta lahat ito yung pag-uusapan sa pre-con. Um, kakilangan na yung papuba natin ng building permits o any kind of permit yes. para sa ano na to? Yes. yes. Ang galing pa sa City Hall, sir? Yes. Um, any COVID protocol, sir? Uh, kailangan din po yun. Ah, uh, vaccine cards lang o kailangan may party PCR? Vaccine uh, cards, vaccination yes, card. Yes sir, uh, I think kailangan siya um uh, yung may third dose na, may booster na siya sir. Pagkatapos oh. uh yung may minimum health protocol na ini-issue po ay yung kaa para sa sa all personnel or employees or even yung outsider na pumapasok sa uh, premises ng CAA, yun din lang din po yung isusundin po ng ano po. Meron pong uh, ini-issue yung uh, off-sample namin, yung Office of uh, Flight 
uh, surgeon and aviation medicine po na health protocol. Yun po din yung susundin po sa mga workers po kung sakali man. Uh, Madi-discuss naman po yun in case uh, pre-construction meeting din. Ano? Yes sir, during the pre-construction meeting lang din po yun. Thank you po. Thank you. I can come to think your question uh, on the chat. Ay, okay po. So, we have a question here. Um, tanong ko lang po kung sino po yung contact person sa site inspection. Uh, sa site inspection po, um, ang contact person po natin, yung ADMS chief, si Colonel Valentino uh, Junela po. Until when po ang pwede mag-conduct ng site inspection po? Pwede pong makapag-conduct ng site inspection until uh, yung sa very deadline ng pag ano po ng submission ng bids opening ng bids po so um, any other questions wala uh, I think nasagot na po natin pwede po um, yung sa conduct lang po ng site inspection during office hours po pwede po tayo mag conduct ng office hours at saka um, office Uh, I mean, Mondays to Fridays po, pwede makapag-conduct ng site inspection po. Hello po, MZR Builders ulit, sir. Yes po, sir. Sir, under bid yes. data sheet, J letter J, two, number 2. Yes po, sir. Uh, legal clearance to be issued by the CAAP Enforcement and Legal Service. Yes, With sir. With respect to the non-pending cases of the prospective bidders, against this authority. Pa paano kami makakakuha niyan? Uh, sir, uh, yung legal clearance po, makukuha po natin siya dito sa CAAP uh, office po. Meron po sa enforcement and legal service po, sila po yung mag issue ng legal clearance po. How do we go about that, sir? Pwede lang po i-apply yan dito. Makukuha lang din po yan agad-agad, sir. Hmm. Ah, mag-a-apply. Ah, pupunta dyan. Yes, Saan po, department sir? Director? Enforcement and legal service po. Tapos sasabihin lang namin na nag-apply kami para doon. Yes po, sir. Kahit na po pumunta lang po kayo sa back office, sir, ituturo lang po kayo niyan. Kasi magkatapat lang po yung office ng uh, enforcement and legal service at saka back uh, office po. Sir, okay. ano po kailangan mong re mga requirements? For the back, uh, for the clearance, sir, wala naman pong kailangan, sir. Uh, you just have to present yung ID lang siguro ng the person who will do securing. Uh, and then meron naman po Uh, application form po. Ako po po kagad yun, sir? Yes, um, it can be uh, uh, secured immediately naman po. Sasama po ito kasi sa submission ng BD Talks, ano? That's correct po, sir. Uh, I just want to clarify po na magkaiba po yung legal clearance at saka yung uh, uh, affidavit under oath that no pending, uh, that uh, your company has no pending case against the government or uh, or any um uh, Or, uh, against the government po. Sir, yun po yung oh. sinasabi yung number one certification under oath. Sino po gagawa nung kami nalang po? Ipapanotarize lang? Kayo lang po yun. Mag Ipapanotarize nyo po, sir. Okay. Uh, yung legal clearance po, makukuha nyo po yun dito sa amin, sa enforcement and legal service po namin. The same day that we applied for it. Alright. Ah, okay. Sige po, sir. Salamat sir, po. Um, ano po yung minimum number of days na dapat makuha namin yung Uh, legal clearance mm. from submitting. I'm sorry, sir? Minimum number of days? Oh, sir, like, I don't know, maybe 10 days before the bid opening? Uh, makuha ang alin, sir, yung clearance po? Apo, yung legal clearance. Well, you can apply now, sir. You can, uh, even before, uh, you can apply now para uh, as early as now, meron na po kayong legal clearance. Meron naman po kasi yung validity yung legal clearance po natin. Mm. Uh, for this particular project lang po, sir. Yes, for this particular project, sir. Pwede po ba mag-apply, sir, via email? Um, that, I'm not sure, sir, kung uh, available siya. Pero kung magkakandak na rin po kasi kayo ng site inspection, sir, daanan nyo na lang din po yung legal clearance. In our case po, sir, tapos na po kami ng inspection kahapon eh. So, ah, tapos na po kayo ng inspection, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Um, that I'm not sure sir kung sa kung available ba siya electronically now or I advise sir para makuha niyo po agad 
puntahan niyo na lang po yung sa legal po namin. Okay, sige po sir. Salamat po. Thank you sir. So, um, may ibang questions pa po? Okay, sir. Sorry, it's Leo 1. Uh, I, I suggest that uh, all of your questions be put in writing. Uh, in any yes, case, sir. these documents, the, the presentation and everything are uploaded. Uh, we encourage everyone to to check them out and to produce them uh, thoroughly so that if you have remaining questions uh, that, that needs to be raised, uh, please do send them to our back office as soon as possible so that we can issue the necessary bid bulletin kung meron man kayong mapansin na kailangan namin i-correct at kailangan natin i-reconcile. So with that, uh, let's already close this uh, pre-bid conference. Maraming salamat po to everyone who attended and we look forward to your submissions. And uh, again, uh, uh, our back office is open for any further queries. Maraming salamat po and good afternoon. Attorney Frank? Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank, uh, thank you to all our prospective leaders. Uh, Mr. Chair, may we um, request uh, our Secretariat to uh, remove or to excuse our prospective leaders from the meeting room, sir, before we proceed with uh, the next item of our agenda, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chair.